Hey, Refreshing Life family. It's Dr. Naima Johnson Bush from the Refreshing Life with Naima. And since our house has been taken over by a toddler and an infant, we've had to totally rearrange our living room, which means I have to start working in my office, which um, I love my office. I love the way it's decorated, but it's always trashed in here. And I never work in here. You know, I run the ministry out of this space. I run my Etsy business out of this space. Um, I run my educational business out of this space. And it's so funny because learning to balance, taking care of the kids and running a ministry and two businesses and the women's ministry at church, um, things have been falling through the cracks quite a bit. So um, I'm not traveling again until July, which is a good thing, even though um, I miss them so bad when I was on the road this last trip. I was gone for a week. Uh, but you know, I also love to do what I do, but right now they're my first priority in my first ministry. So, um, and also, um, want to be here for Bonkas, my little puppy. She just walked by the door. Um, you know, some of y'all know I've had this dog since she was like 12 weeks old. She's about to be 16 and she's got another growth, unfortunately, and that we've decided this time we're not going to operate. Um, so I just want to be here with her. She's fine. She's acting fine. She doesn't act sick. She's doing what she do. Stealing cookies from little kids. Sleeping. Barking at nothing. You know, all that good stuff. So I just want to enjoy her and let's let her um, enjoy her life until the Lord says, you know, it's time for her to cross the rainbow bridge. I'm a firm believer that um, she'll be with me in eternity. I know some people laugh, but the scripture says... That God cares for man and animal alike. There's also scripture that says you don't know if the spirit of the animal um, goes up or if it goes down. I will link that scripture below. Because, you know, oh, look, I found a roll of toilet paper. Okay, see, that's cra it's crazy in here. I'm sure I was hiding it from that child because she likes to stop up the toilet bowl with all that paper she puts in there. So my office is totally trash. So I'm going to have to start working in here. And I'm going to have to totally rearrange it. So I'm going to give you the before. And then when it's all said and done, I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm going to give you the after. And look, I got a new wig. I got um, a couple new wigs because y'all, you know, I was in, um, oop, I'm about to drop it. I was in uh, South Carolina. It's dark in here. I was in uh, South Carolina and Georgia. You know they have some fly wigs, so I got some new wigs. So let me show you what it looks like in okay, here. Okay, so here is the office space, and it starts off with that fine joy in the journey. John put that up for me last year when we moved in here, and he also painted that wall that dark blue, which I love. There is my piano where I write and I practice, lots of practicing, because I want to learn to be able to play all my own music and not have anybody accompany me. I'm far from that. Um, that's just a lamp. I don't know where that lamp came from, Ikea, Walmart. Um, I have this one bookshelf. I'm gonna need to get another one. At the top is a picture that my brother painted of our family almost 20 years ago, um, because that's a picture of me and my natural hair, my mom and my dad at the end of him in the middle. And then uh, what else is up on that shelf? Um, some awards that I won when I worked in higher education, when I was in college, John and I's cake topper. We didn't have a cake. Let's see if I can get a little closer. We didn't have a cake at our wedding. We had uh, cupcakes, but that was our cake topper. And that was my tiara that I wore during the wedding. And that doll. And that black thing is actually my um, wedding bouquet. I can imagine what it looks like now. Um, so... I have some sorority paraphernalia. Let me get a little closer. I said that every time I go to Disney, I was going to get a uh, ornament. And that's my Tiana ornament because I had to start with Tiana. And then there's my little Christmas joy sign. I usually put that out for Christmas, but it sits there during the year. Book, um, my notebooks with all my sermons that I've written, Bible lessons, presentations, extra business cards. Those are books that I'm reading or need to read or I need easy access to. Um, that shelf is totally messed up because I've been traveling. 
Those are some other books that down there, another award from Toastmasters. That Naima, those block letters, I have had that since 1989. I got that my freshman year of college at a little store in Delaware, Ohio. It doesn't even exist anymore, but I've carried it around all this time. That little lamb is actually an Etsy. It's for sale in my Etsy shop. It's vintage from the 50s. Um, I put it there because I didn't have a space to wrap it up. And then let's see what else do I got in my office. Um, here's my little, like, you know, this is for women's ministry. These are just some, um, uh, oh, it says on a voyage, but that's for um, our upcoming events, charger, um, calculator, extra business cards for my educational business, just stuff like that back there. That's all my educational business stuff. Elephant collection. Um, down there in the bottom, just some odds and ends. A bunch of awards that I won when I was in college that I just never got around to putting up. Extra paper. These are my albums. Y'all know, hey, Michael Jackson album, Christmas album. Um, I do have a record player. That's a Bratz doll down there in the corner. You can't really see that. My brother gave me for Christmas one year. My little bank. I'm saving up to go to Paris. Ain't nothing in there. But yeah, but I've got two other banks, so. <laughs> uh, that's something John made me that I just kept. I love it because I thought it was sweet. A pillow that um, my, what we call special, my special sister made me. Doreen, I won't go into her whole name, but Doreen, she made that for me. And she gave it to me when I became a member of Delta Sigma Theta. Some elephants. Uh, that's a duplicator. So I duplicate my own CDs. Those are things for my merchandise table. This down here is actually a chest um, that I got from Walmart. And um, it has all of like my mementos and stuff in it. And then the Lightning Thief, which I snagged because I'm going to read that to um, our little toddler. She's a little young, but she likes to hear me read. I'm going to read it to the baby too because he just likes to listen to me talk. <laughs> Um, the package I need to send out to a friend with my old paparazzi stuff in it from a paparazzi business. And then that down there is my winter decor decoration. So Valentine's Day is my snowmen. Um, this is the chair that of course goes there. Now, this chair I got for Christmas. I love this chair, but I can't, we got a new couch, we got a big sectional and I can't put it put the bottom part up anymore to put my legs up and that kid is always pulling on it so my husband stuck it in here so I'm gonna have to rearrange it these are extra blankets receipt <laughs> stuff you know from my last trip um my paper shredder my little assistant came in and shredded a bunch of stuff and then this is all Etsy stuff in this box that need to be listed so it's just stuff that needs to go on sale. I just haven't even gotten to it. Um, let's see. Let's go around here. So this is my desk. And as you can see, it looks trashed because there are a million things on it. Because I haven't been in here good since we got the kids. And this is a dollar from the 1950s. I haven't been in here good since we got the kids. So, you know, it looks like how it looked when I was on my way out for a trip. That's a... Um, you know, a cup that one of the teachers got me at John's job. I mean, it's just trashed. Here's where I practice at, my sound system. I carry it sometimes when I go minister. These curtains, I loved. I got the kids the same curtains except in gray. And, well, no, they're not chevrons. The kids are stripes. And then just some little odds and ends, things from... You know, my mom gave me that bank. I don't know what happened to the bottom. Um, that's from my shower, wedding shower. Um, that's my prayer and praise, things that I'm praying about for my business. That, I've shown that before, is a um, big ass picture. Uh, Margaret Keene, I love that picture. I, I thrifted it at a, um, a, what do you call it? A, um, Oh my gosh, a flea market. I bought it for $2. It's worth about $49, $59. Um, but I loved it so much, I just put it up. This is all stuff from my Etsy shop. 
This stuff has already been listed and is up and for sale. They're my sorority paddles. My dad won that for me at the Ohio State Fair. I don't remember what that crown is from. <laughs> These are boxes that need to be sent to my mother. Um, this is one of my favorite children's books. If you give a mouse a cookie, I'm working on a project. Um, and I just got books and elephants and breakable stuff down here. I got that from when I sang on the Carnival cruise ship for a talent show. It was a couple years ago. And then that bank is almost full. That's my first bank for our trip to Paris. I got that Cabbage Patch Kid when I was 16. Here's a roll of toilet paper. I've been hiding from the kid. <laughs> um, just various elephants and stuffed animals that you know my husband gave me. Um, my mother and father gave me. Um, there's a picture of me and my best friend Tammy. Yeah, so that's a picture of me and my best friend Tammy at Disney. Um, we went for Disney's 25th. We were actually there for a conference that's so long ago. As you can see how much heavier I was at the time. And um, we're going to go back for Disney 50th. And that's at the Liberty Tree Tavern. And then that is a picture of um, Dwayne and Amanda. Pastor Dwayne and Pastor Amanda Grant. I officiated their wedding many years ago. I'm godmother to their children. Um, and so, yeah. This is what my office looks like. There's my purse collection. The thing that's crazy about this whole office is that when my mother is here, she stays in, she doesn't stay in this room. She stayed in the room that's now the nursery, but all her clothes and stuff are in here. So like, that's her hat and um, that's my one, my winter coat I wear when I go up north. That's her bath stuff. Um, but this closet, there is like no room to move in this closet. This is from when I was making jewelry. Um, my extra purses, my mother's extra purses. Um, those are from my program, my Mama Grio program. That's my Chucky rug rat that I'm hiding from the kid because she will destroy it. Those are all my mother's clothes. Um, this is all Etsy stuff. My mom's shoes. Um, yeah, this is all Etsy stuff. And then there's stuff in here like mic stands. That's it toolbox but there's Etsy stuff in there extra sermons and stuff that I've written are in there paperwork financial paperwork that I have to keep for so many years and so this is my office and somehow I'm gonna have to look I got a pair of boots in here I think I said I had a CD duplicator where I make my that's what that silver machine is so somehow I'm gonna have to make sense out of all of this and turn it into a functional space. I need to be able to, um, I need to be able to work in here, but I also need this space to be available for my mom when she comes. It needs to be a place for her to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, so check back and we'll do another video because this is probably gonna take me a couple weeks. And uh, this is my office tour at the moment, my trashed office tour. My one slipper, I have no idea where the other slipper is. My unicorn slipper I got for Christmas. Yeah. So, yeah. So here we go. So check back and see what there will be to see when it's all said and done. And until then, remember, find joy on the journey.